Hi everyone, it's Aga from EurekaCrystalBeats.com and I'm here with another fun beading video tutorial for you. But before I get started, just a quick reminder to check out the rest of our channel and if you like what you see, if you've learned anything, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you always know when we're posting new content. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy and simple but also a pretty elegant choker necklace. Uh, for this necklace you're going to need the products that you can see here. First you're going to need cord which is quite a specific type because it's durable and thick but also goes through all of the beads that we wanted to go through. It's Eslon Super Long Micro Bead Cord in grey. You're also going to need a needle and this is also a very specific needle. It has a big eye and it's very uh, elastic and easy to work with, basically. It's not good for most beading, but for this it's about perfect. As far as beads are concerned, you're going to need Tila beads. And for my neck, which is just under 13 inches, I'm going to need about 34 of them. And I'm going to add two of them, two of these Tila beads, and then one of these symbol findings for Tila. So two Tila beads and one symbol finding on which I'm going to hang these drop beads on jump rings. So you're going to need Tila beads, you're going to need symbol findings and I'm going to need about 20, so a full package for my neck. But you can always just buy one package and just not add it everywhere. You can start with three regular Tila beads if you have more of them and then just alternate every third one as you normally would. You're gonna get what I mean uh, in a minute. So you're also going to need these drop beads, obviously. You're going to need uh, jump rings. So this is going to be as many as your symbol findings and as many as your drops because these drops on the jump rings are going to hang down from the symbol findings. Okay, uh, additionally you're going to need two for the uh, ends of your necklace. You are going to need also uh, crimp tubes to make it all um, secure and you're going to need Toho uh, round beads in size 11. As far as tools are concerned, you're also going to need pliers to uh, squeeze up those crimp tubes and to open and close jump rings and scissors to cut off the excess cord after you're done. One final thing that this necklace wouldn't be able to be worn without is a clasp and I'm going to use a lobster clasp. Uh, you can use whatever clasp you want but I like the lobster clasp for this kind because you can always uh, add more jump rings for regulation and you just have a longer one or a shorter one with more or fewer jump rings. Okay, let's start. I'm putting my thread on my needle and this is a task that is easier than in most beading because of this needle and I'm starting with alternating one Tila, one Toho round and one Tila bead. And now I'm going to be putting my beads on the thread in the sequence Every third Tila bead is going to be one symbol element. So two Tila's all separated by Toho rounds. And now one symbol element. And I'm going to try to choose uh, Toho round beads that are more or less even and kind of wide. Because I want my necklace to be nice and straight. Because if uh, on one side there's a bead that's wide and on the other that's it's narrow, then it's going to be like wavy a little bit. Okay, and as far as measurements go, my neck is just under 13 inches in circumference. So I'm going to put beads on my thread until I've reached the exact circumference of my neck. Because you don't want it to uh, choke you, basically, even though it's a choker. You don't want it to be too close to your neck and uncomfortable, so you still need some space and that space will be added when you add the jump ring and the clasp. Put on as many beads as are required until you've reached the circumference of your neck. You can also measure it by just 
taking a piece of cord and wrapping it around your neck and then just, you know, laying it down uh, against your ruler or just without a ruler entirely. Okay, so I'm going to be putting two tealer beads and one symbol bead, also making sure that I'm always going through the right hole so that the loop on those symbol beads, um, symbol elements, is always downwards so that they are all in the same position. Okay, so I'll do that and I'll come back to you when I finished and it's time to turn back. Okay, I am done threading one side of the choker and for my just under 13 inch uh, neck I used, as you can see, this for left, so I used 16 symbol elements. So if you have a neck that's a little bit thicker, one pack is going to be probably enough. And uh, remember, you can always add tealer beads uh, towards the ends. So don't worry, with one pack you're going to be able to make a choker for yourself. Okay, now I pull my thread through this necklace so that I have slightly more than its length so that I can come back through it and still have some time, uh, some piece of thread to finish the whole thing. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take care of this end. So what I do now is I put one crimp tube, three beads, three Toho beads, and another crimp tube on the thread and I'm going through just that last of the tealer beads and now I'm going to separate it a little bit from the rest hold it tight like this it doesn't need to be like super tight and I'm going to squish those crimp tubes so that they hold the thread, the cord, in place. Just like that. And they're squished. Okay, now I'm tightening this whole thing by pulling it on this side, but you're going to be able to pull it all together at the end as well. Now I'm just going to be adding a Toho beads because all the other beads are already here. So I'm just adding one Toho bead in between all these beads. So just going through the second hole in each of these. Oh and also you can already put some cover beads on those uh, crimp tubes. But you don't need to, I actually like it this way, it doesn't bother me too much. So I'm ultimately not going to do this. Okay, I'll just continue going through the second hole of the two hole beads. And I'll come back to you again when I'm finished through all of the beads. Okay, so I'm done with all the stringing. This is under... 13 inches just like my neck circumference and now all I need to do is I pull both of these ends tight and all that's left to do is uh, add this end so one crimp tube three toho round beads and the second crimp tube and I go through this one tealer bead and one to round on the other side. And I don't cut my thread just yet, but I can already cut my thread on the spool side. So I just take several inches, maybe this much, and I put it on my thread, on my needle, and just go through this end piece, like from the other side, basically. Try to uh, not go through the other thread that's already inside the beads because that may produce a knot. It shouldn't be that easy to 
uh, go through it, but just you can try to push the beads a little bit up and just make sure you didn't go through it. And through the tailor and the toe hole on this side as well. And again, I push both of these and holding it like that. I just squeeze these crimp beads it's like super basic super easy but super effective okay now I just cut the threads And the choker is basically done, but now I want to add the dangly drop beads. Okay, so basically what we're going to be doing now is adding the uh, drop beads on jump rings to the choker. Uh, and you're going to need as many jump rings and drop beads as many uh, symbol elements you've used in your choker. So. We're just going to be opening up a jump ring, going to put your choker on it and your drop bead on it. So uh, that's for five millimeter uh, jump rings. If you have six millimeter ones, it should even dangle better. But for this ones, you just close it like that, right on the drop. And then that's what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to do this for all of uh, my other drop beads. And as you can see, I'm using another pair of pliers. Depending on your rings, you might be able to open them up in your hand. But I'm just using another pair of pliers just to make it easier. Okay, I'll come back to you when I've finished adding all of my drop beads. With all the drops already installed on the choker, the only thing left to do is to add the clasp. So I take one of these rings, open it up enough for it to go in between the beads, like that. Just adding on the cho the clasp, closing up the ring, and on the other end, just adding another jump ring. You know what? I'm going to add another one because it's going to be easier to close the clasp with one loose jump ring additionally and that's it that's the choker